Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Craven and welcome back to SimCity, playing still on Tamarin Island. Uh, in between episodes I went to Anaconda Bay. Still leave comments if you want to name one of the cities. I mean, I can still do that if you leave a comment. So, please do that. But, I went to the other city and we now should have some garbage uh, disposal trucks running around here. Apparently some, quite some houses are abandoned, or still on fire, so, <laughs> yeah, oh, there was a fire there, but that's fine, Jesus, so many fires, well, we are on a mission to have less than five fires, and right now we have one, two, three fires going on, and this one should be um, fixed relatively soon. At least they should be able to do that. There it is. Needs to go to the other building right there. Well, at least I can remove him now. I could if the fire actually didn't restart itself. So apparently the fire has returned. Anyway, um, how long do we have left? We have less than five fires, so it should be done. Well, at least if... Oh, God, there's a fire now here as well. There we go. 50,000. We also sent, like, 30,000 from the other city here. Because we could. Uh, yeah. So, what do we need? I really want to get our academy up this episode. So, we are going to need some... Well, the academy, first off. But it's not that cheap to build well it's cheap to build it's not cheap to maintain you know 300 and whoa what is that building just got abandoned and it shot up three freaking stories at once that's was totally weird anyway yeah most the most the easiest way to increase our um, population and thereby our uh, Income is by getting density increases, but that still has not... Oh, they need freight to work. Yeah, I think they are going to need to have a few more... Fa yeah, we need a factory or two more. So let's just have this much room. That should be two factories. And at the same time, we should have... What's our area like for... Medium wealth, oh, it's decent, so let's build it out a little bit more. And a small one over there. And I guess we can add to the baseball field, I suppose. Well, yeah, there we go. It should, should upgrade a another sizable area to medium wealth, which is also what we need. We have some unemployed people. Oh, we actually have unemployed high wealth as well. What do you want? They want a recycler and no, I don't want a recycling center right now. Oh, what we do need is to have a couple more classrooms. Even though they do cost a little bit an hour, uh, both at 200, but we do need the kids to go to school. That's uh, This city is supposed to be our educational town. So we definitely need a school where most of the education can happen. I mean, 511 can be enrolled, and it's only 147 right now, which is not enough by any stretch of the imagination. But now at least more kids can come to school. They have barely opened up, so that's a good thing. Why is there nothing building there? Well, at least you can go now. Mm -hmm. Future parks, everything. What is this? Uh, maybe by power. Huh. So we are low on power, I suppose. Uh, no, we have access. Way lots of access. Okay. So we simply need to increase our density to get more money. And we are at a point where we can actually get our density increased on this side of the city. So let's start upgrading some roads. Because right now we have low density roads and that means uh, that you can only have low density housing. So we'll make the main road between the avenue here 
medium density. Hopefully they will start increasing pretty damn soon. Well, they are quite green as well. I'm going to do these side roads as well. They should be able to upgrade to these, this one, and these as well. Might as well. There we go. Should be sufficient to see some density increases happening quite soon. If they have the room to do it, then. Yes. They're happy. They, well, yeah, they're not ready yet to increase density, but they're getting to a point where they can. They still lose money every hour. That's not a good thing, of course. Need to leave that room open for uh, our solar power plant. Uh, detail available jobs, lots more available in medium wealth housing. Hmm. I guess we could make. Can, I cannot upgrade you yet, but I think that building alongside this road, like this way, should. I think that should be fine. Oh. Yeah, I cannot work on it, so. Might have to destroy part of this road if we cannot fit in our extra parts of the city there. But I think oh, it needs to go a bit further to the west. Basically, our uh, park here is totally in the way for uh, building that. And actually, you can also connect there to the avenue. And you can... Actually, no, hang on, hang on. I'm doing that one wrong. Oh, yes, destroy. No, 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 that doesn't, that mustn't be a regular road. That must be another avenue going cr across. Okay, yeah, I need to use the actual curved road for this one. Like so. There's a ton of traffic back here. Jesus, maybe it is time to upgrade these roads at least. That's not for density's sake of the buildings, but for the transport sake of the city, that they actually can pass the street here. So now our entire situation around is medium density. Our circle road around town is medium. Uh, still no upgrades yet. Still losing some money, but now we can definitely get some more housing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I shouldn't build on the avenue I have here, though, so uh, I should be fine. There we go. Actually, since there's enough room in between here, you can build like so actually fix some residential here as well that should be better more people more tax income what we actually can do Ooh. oh yeah we're of course also losing money on these things so i'm gonna repay this bond should give us uh, some more profit again every hour it's much tougher to actually build a city based purely on taxes uh, than it is on the resources that we're getting in our other city because that's a continuous income flow and you can get more spikes in income down here and that's something we cannot really get from uh, this particular uh, is that an ambulance I think it is it's yeah it was the ambulance so we don't make as much money basically and that's why quests such as the fireworks it's actually very beneficial to have. No regrets. You won't regret this. I do not want Max's man. Um, making a lot of profit. Yeah, our business district is not yet that businessy. So we have lots more. These businesses should be running. We need freight. They have freight. They need workers. They are closed for the day, making huge profits, of course you are. Business is great. Oh, really? There was not enough room for one more factory here. Damn it. 
Oh, that was an actual factory I just accidentally destroyed. And that was a train. Again, one more factory helps with uh, unemployment as well as other stuff. Still available jobs in the medium wealth department. What's your problem now? Uh, hot air balloon park. Uh, no thanks. I do not want a hot air balloon park. Hello, airplane. Ah, there we go. Luxury condos. They are going up in the sky. Seriously? Really? This thing is probably in the way of me building another mansion in between. But that's density increases now. Currently at 34 high wealth people. And these are high wealth buildings, so that's for sure. Oh, here's another. So they're popping up. For sale, no one's living there just yet. Here's another townhouses. That means medium dense, medium wealth uh, goes up to medium density, so it's also good. Are you living there now? Yes, you we're doing well, and we've gone up to 31. Okay, still not a lot of people can live in the condos apparently, which is kind of weird. Oh, we're now up to 40 when the second one opens. You really need the high rise for for high wealth to actually work. And the amount of people in the city. 47. And besides, they take the space of like two mansions at once, though. Wow, these are futurized. Jesus. That looks very futuristic to me. And it's, whoa, it's like a complete uh, circle that goes up and up. Just, here's another, yeah. It's a corkscrew, isn't it? Yeah. That's what it is. Corkscrew building. What's it called? Argyle Apartments. Okay, Mr. Argyle. So far you've futurized three buildings. So good. Not really. We have some more uh, medium wealth people. Yeah, that's... They take up more people in one of those buildings. So, how is our approval rating? It's going up. Commercial happiness was at a low. Very low. They need freight to... Everyone needs freight. Hmm. This appears to be the issue. Oh, I'm now making 1,356. Not bad. I still need the academy, which is... 25,000 to build. Yeah, we're waiting for that one. Um... In the meantime, what is the... Oh, we have some abandoned buildings and rubble. Must have been a fire where the fire uh, department couldn't come in time. So, this is a busy uh, intersection. Probably because too many people... Well, back here, of course, there's a lot of people living. You know, this might just be an easy fix, though. Connecting that road there should fix a lot. And this one there also. This should really alleviate a lot more of the traffic problems. Unless people from here decide to take this route to the avenue instead of going over these roads. We'll soon find out. Um, they want police. I don't want to give you. First apartment buildings, which is medium density, low wealth. Density is going up. What do you want, Dr. Vu? Prime pays, go evil, no thanks, no Vu. No Vu for you. Running on battery power, of course, it's the night. So any extra energy taken during the day is now being redistributed into town. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six condos. Giving us now a total of 66, uh, wow, we even have unemployed high wealth people working while living in the city. And I think now is the good time to build the academy. And I wanted to build it right here. It's annoying because I haven't built a straight section here. Oh, here's actually a good space to build it, to be honest. Yeah, I think this is a good spot. Plop the academy. The academy. And that instantly gave us the futurize mission because 
That thing futurizes everything around it. Have enough staff to open it? Ooh, nice. Yeah, it does need a lot of high wealth people. So we need to do a um, research project, and I think advanced filtration technology allows the direct conversion of wastewater into potable water. Grab a glass and don't worry about ground pollution ever again. I think having a couple of sewage sanitizers might be beneficial in this city. Control net access, bandwidth. Oh, we actually have some high wealth people working here now. So that's cool, 19 of them. Whoa, it's actually going quite fast with the research. Wow. When, when I was doing this in, uh, in a big city with a lot of people, that went a lot slower. So, but yeah, it is a cheap one, so that's okay. Uh, what do you want about the academy? Um, first step on a brand new, attracting wealthy workers. I'll do it. Have five high wealth houses develop? Yeah, they'll probably develop in the meantime. That's just one you just have to wait for. Millennium Plaza. Nice. Ooh, we're almost at 5,000 people as well. And some unemployed, low-wealth people, but they cannot work here anymore. But yeah, there is enough work for high-wealth people to just come into town and go to work. We have space for 200, so... Wow, it really goes quick with that research. Uh, what do we need? Police, right? Crime wave, yeah, right. It's not that bad, is it? Too much... Oh, wow, they're actually closing down because of crime now. More rubble over here. Sorry, Barney. There goes your house. In the line of very obscure television references. Um, High-tech industry. Really? Whoa. Did, did seriously the academy boost technology level that bad? Is that insanely? Not bad. Um, education. Do we reach everywhere that we want? Probably not, but... Oh, right. Here we don't reach yet. Let's have some more people, actually. And, of course, back here. And there we go. Complete the research project. That was incredibly fast. Gives us 20,000. Not bad. Yay. Oh, my. Seriously? School is getting full. Ah, uh, no, we need a roof on that one. More people. So, sewage sanitizer is now available everywhere. And that is this thing. Cost 40,000. Uh, 500 an hour. Treats 26.3 kilo, kilogallons an hour. But it also pumps them back in. So, that means we can destroy our sewage outflow pipe soon enough. Once we actually have the money to build that thing course um, oh no research project of course um, let's start in the amplifiers now because we have a solar and solar power plant anyway and having that one that research could go even faster with more high wealth people working here which is insane larger shops open up that's nice ah, over here density of shops increases and I think that should make a good point of upgrading this road to at least medium density. And the same with these three as well. There we go. Um, yeah, that's good. Yes, that's already medium density. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight condos now. Looking at 82 high wealth people. Lots of unemployed uh, low wealth at the moment. Oh, we have over 5,000 people. Upgrade City Hall. Which means we can upgrade it with, of course, something in front. And I should get the Department of Education. But then again, one of the other ones is also good. But uh, Department of Education all the way over there. Sure, why not? Gives us access to a lot more uh, buildings, of course, which is good. Here we go. Uh, costs a bit, of course. Jesus. 
Money wise, it's going well. Unlocked the high school, the public library. Not bad at all. Research already 50% done now. Jesus. So fast. And you know what? Because of. Um, I just want to buy that thing now. The sanitizer. Ooh, it's actually a pretty damn big building. Oh, and it can be upgraded too, which is good. So I'll build it r right here. Uh, no, actually over here. Um, there we go. Hopefully it opens up soon. Acquiring control net signal, cell capacity to the neighbors, water as well as sewage. Oh, something is amiss. Here we go, so we can now destroy the outflow pipe. I'll we'll do it. Destroy the outflow pipe. This should um, process all the sewage towards this building instead. Control net is connected effectively. It should start treating everything too. And we're already done with another research. Wow, that goes quick. Uh, so water is also being pumped slowly. Petition to build solar power amplifier. Im approved. Good. What does it actually do? Let's check. And what it does is it's power production bonus 200%. So for 40,000, it, it just goes in the middle of it. So it doesn't take any extra space and will make it run a lot smoother and more powerful. So you don't need an as big territory. But then again, the city doesn't isn't taking that much power anyway right now so it's also pumping city everything back into the city you're not even pumping that much are you so sewage is being treated it's being pumped back into the city as well and this thing can be expanded with more sanitizer tanks does he use that control net as well but that should be fine for now it's looking good. Sewage has been upgraded to the next level, basically. Yeah, and what it uses is control net. Whoa, actually going up here. And control net is this stuff. And it goes up the more people you have working at the actual building, at the academy. And as well, when you upgrade the academy, then it can add it on as well. Maglev station. Let's get it going. Basically, what it will do is allow us to build the maglev uh, mass transit. This thing. Academy region, research as well. Can Capacity of 200, usage of 50 on the control net, which is okay. But that will make it much, much quicker for people to move around the town. And allows for bigger cities, basically. Crime is, of course, still an issue. And what is up? Another uh, thing, I don't think so. You know what? Let's get one more bond. We pay the one in the middle with it as well, just to cut on the expense. And let's get that um, police station they so desire. I just want to get a regular one. And I shall build this one uh, right over here. Next to this park, and we can have it right there. Police station will allow less crime, keeps buildings open, has them not decide to go for anything weird. Also, whoa, they increased in density quickly over here. Oh yeah. And now we should have a police department running as well, they're out on patrol. We're losing how much in... Where is that? Bonds only 700. Really? How fast has this research been? Anyway, um, let's start with the level 2 research then. I mean, we've researched everything on level 1 already. This might be a bit slower then, I guess. Yeah, this one is a lot slower. But that's okay, actually. I don't really mind right now. It's looking good for the city. 
making more and more income when while density goes up. We can have maglevs. They are expensive, though. I mean, Jesus, 15,000 for one station. Can't build them anywhere on the roads, and you need a lot of them to actually transport everyone everywhere. Ah, they're actually different size between uh, the um, avenues and the regular roads as well. You need, do need a lot of stations to make that work, so it needs a lot of money. And we're not yet at the point where we're getting that much money now, are we? No, we are not. That's why a finance department would have been pretty handy to have, because you would have been able to set different amounts of taxes. Hey, look, everybody. We're upgrading houses everywhere. How are we doing here? Available jobs, way more than people. Probably because of the density increases back here. Oh yeah, that helps a lot. Anyway, the city is being modernized and it's getting its uh, shine of education going. It has this school running at 611 students a day. So let's um, get more buses down there. Actually pick up everyone and add on the last classroom so everyone can go study. And this will be uh, it for this episode. Um, oh, these kids are not getting to school, so might as well have them too. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later.